All right, it's January 14th, central Pennsylvania. Slightly above freezing. We haven't had real bitter cold, so I'm hoping I can get a shovel through the ground. Normally, the frost is too bad this time of year to go metal detecting, but I'm gonna give it a shot. It's dark, just got off work, unfortunately. The only daylight hours there is, I'm at work, so. We got the headlamp, I'm at a farm. Done pretty good here in the past. A um, lot of large scents, few half scents, a half dime. But that was all up in the woods. I'm not going in the woods in the dark with my headlamp. So I'm gonna blunder around the fields. I don't care if I find anything or not, I just wanna get out digging. If I'm lucky, maybe I'll pop a button or even a coin. We'll see how it goes. All right, first signal. It's sitting about a 70. We'll dig it and see what it is. Pretty much right on the surface. A bent piece of wire. All right, got another signal here. Kind of jumpy. probably junk but we'll see so after I dug a little bit of dirt out of the hole it was hitting a solid 78 and right here it looks like we got either a coin or a button yeah, it's definitely a coin Huh, I believe it's an Indian. Let me get it cleaned up. This is hard to see in the dark, with this Harbor Freight headlamp. But it is an 1896 Indian head penny. Doesn't look in too bad a shape. All I did was finger rub it. I'll see if I can get it cleaned up a little better later. Well, not too far from where that Indian was. I've got another signal here. Bouncing around in the 70s. Seems pretty small, but pretty shallow. We'll see. Well, would you look at that? Looks like another coin. I see Lincoln. This one is probably going to be, yeah, it's a wheat penny. I'll see if I can get a date. It's an early one. It's a 1911. Not sure if you can see that or not. That's going pretty good. Trudging through a little snow here and there, but the ground is not too bad. It digs right up. Well, there we go. Seventy eight, eighty, seventy nine. We'll see. Well, that one just turned out to be piece of lead kind of flat on one side there pretty sure it's just garbage though well here eighty two eighty three boy pretty solid eighty three a lot of times I found clad dimes at 83 on this machine, so we'll see what it is in the field. 
Well, I knew it wasn't going to be a clad dime once I started digging because it got down in there about 8 inches. And this old Chinese TX850 don't really go that deep. But I did find a watch fob. Give her a little rub down here. It says, Seal of the State of Pennsylvania. A little bit of silver wash on that. Pretty cool. Well, I didn't record it because it wasn't a real good signal, but got me a little, a little white round ball. I'm not up to date on my musket balls and pistol balls. I'd guess pistol because it's fairly small, but I don't know. It's lead and it's white, so it's pretty old. Well, here's something. <laughs> Call it 82. I think right in there is where I dug that wheat penny, not far from wherever that Indian was earlier. But this is coming in pretty loud. If it's a coin, it's going to be pretty shallow. Otherwise, it could be a big hunk of garbage. Well, there's the first scoop out. It's still pretty loud in the hole. So, it's probably bigger than a coin. Right in there. Let me see if I can get it. Heartbreaker. Chunk of a aluminum. Big ol' honking garbage. Well, uh, I don't know how snow affects metal detectors, but I've been walking around all over this field, and I have not gotten a single signal in the snow. Not sure if there just ain't nothing here, or if the snow has something to do with picking up signals. Got another signal here. Pretty jumpy. Mostly trying to get a 78, but it's kind of jumping all over. We'll see. Okay, so it's right in this clump here. What is that tiny little thing? My goodness, is that small. Little small piece of something let me wipe it off i think it's junk i don't know it's kind of silvery but it's light i don't think it's aluminum might be i don't know it's a heck of a heck of a oh, i must have bumped the stop button right when i was about to swing it on the coil <laughs> holding that little tiny thing about four inches from the coil. It really rings in good. Don't know what it is. Garbage bag. Yeah, here we go. Another 70s signal. Not far from that little piece of whatever it was. Hope it's not another one. Alright, if anybody knows what these things are, let me know. Because I literally find them everywhere that I dig. Little pieces that look exactly like this. They ring in very nice. But almost everywhere I go to dig. A field, a house, a yard. I haven't found them in the woods, but yeah, they're everywhere. Don't know what they are. Well, right next to that little piece of junk that I dug. I didn't even record it. Because it wasn't that great of a signal. It's probably six inches deep. A little tiny button. A little two hole button. I don't think that's going to be super old, but I'm having a hard time with this headlight and <laughs> focusing. 
There we go. All right, here's something. Kind of giving me more of a faint signal. That's jumpy, but it's a little fainter, so it might be something deep. Doesn't seem real big. We'll see. I just heard something snort off in the distance. Hopefully it's just a deer and not some damn bear coming to eat me. Now looky there. Looks like another coin. Now there is definitely something not too far away from me here snorting and carrying on. Hopefully they stay over where they're at. tell what this is yet let me finger it up a little bit here all right it's another wheat penny this one's pretty crusty i think 1920 something i can't really read the date very well i'll have to try and clean it up later well this wasn't too good of a signal until i dug about a six inch Deep plug out of there now. Sounds a little better, but kind of jumpy. But definitely better sounding signal now. We'll see what it is. Well, it looks to be some sort of gear. They're pretty big. It's down there pretty. Decently deep. No idea what that's off of. Okay, so actually getting a little bit of a signal here in the snow. Not much of a signal, but I haven't gotten to dig one in the snow yet, so. We're gonna give it a shot and see what's in there. Yeah, after all that, I normally wouldn't dig that signal. A tiny little piece of foil. Woohoo. Well, it's been a little while since my last signal, but here's a pretty good one. Mostly 76, 78. Nice and tight. Seems like a small target. Let's see what it is. There, right, focused. Well, I think it's a some type of rivet that went through leather. Seems like leather in between it. It could have been off a horse saddle or whatnot. That's it. All right, I'm kind of up at the corner of the field now where the driveway and the road meet, so I'm expecting a little bit of junk. But not a bad signal here. See what it is. Well, that was interesting. I rolled the plug out. Swung the hole, swung the plug, nothing. It was gone. Here it was stuck fast to the shovel in a tiny little clump. But it's just a little piece of... I don't know if it's copper or brass. Kind of green, bent up piece of wire. Part of a copper chain, something. I don't know. Junk. Well, this is ringing up in the 80s, but kind of a odd little tone. It's not real crisp. Of course, my battery's been on one for most of the night. So maybe it could just be the detector losing a little power, but we're going to see what this is. Well, there's why it was ringing in the 80s. 
down in there, 10 inches or so. Nice metal ring. Them things get me every time. Well, it has been quite a while here since I've had anything even close to a decent signal. And I wouldn't even call this one real decent, but... It's faint. Jumping around a little bit, but giving me up there around a 78 that way. A lot more jumpy this way. We'll see. Oh, looky there. I think we got another coin. Ooh, very green and slimy. I don't know if we'll get this one cleaned up, but we'll see. Well, this is a rough one. But I was able to identify it. I can see a little bit of reeded rim. And on the back I could see a little bit of the pokey headdress there. And I actually wiped enough to see a 9 and what looks like either a 3 or an 8. So it'll be an Indian head either 1893 or 1898. Pretty rough shape. Now there's another semi-diggable one. Getting a 68 there. Usually aluminum. That's going to be junk. We'll dig her though and see. Well, it's somewhere in here. Ha! <laughs> Shotgun shell head. I got some paper on it yet. Darn. Well, we might end it on this one getting late I'm getting tired came into the yard got a little signal here ended up being a coin probably a modern penny can't really tell clean her up well it's not a modern penny, it's a wheat penny. I thought I seen 1914 on there, but it's hard to make out. But that's not a bad thing to end on, a coin at least. Wasn't expecting to get much of anything tonight. I'm pretty pleased I got a few Indians and some wheat pennies. Just happy to be digging in January. All right, here's the finds all cleaned up. I had a couple I didn't record. I found another one of these small buttons, and I found this. Pretty excited at first, because I seen that reeded edge was all I could see of it, but then I seen it was a big piece of what I thought was garbage, but it's kind of interesting. It says full, three-fourths, one-half, one-fourth, and zero. I think there was probably a needle in the center, and it pointed. It's probably some type of a fuel gauge of some sort, maybe off of an old tractor or a piece of equipment. And the two small buttons got three wheat pennies. One's a 1911. The other two I cannot read the dates on um, now that they're cleaned up. I thought I could see a little bit when I first pulled them out of the ground. Um... After cleaning them up, it got worse. I can't really see anything on them. And then the two Indian head pennies. The first one I dug does have a legible date. It's in 1896. The second one 
really crusty, but I could see a date on there. It was an 1893, still is an 1893 Indian head penny, but not much of it left. And then probably the coolest thing was this watch fob. Seal of the state of Pennsylvania at one time was silver plated. I actually dug one identical to this a couple years ago. Um, same exact design on the front, seal of the state of Pennsylvania, but it was gold plated and still had quite a bit of the gold plating on. So that was pretty cool, but it's, it's neat to find another one. And pretty interesting, interesting that I found one exactly the same design and everything. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video.